the end of this long gospel passage today is a mini lesson in missionary discipleship of Jesus. Now, first, we learn one very clear principle that discipleship of Jesus does not start with our choice, but with his. This man has been freed by Jesus, freed from the oppression of the evil one. Jesus has cast out many demons from him, and he pleads with Jesus, let me go with you. Let me join your company of disciples. And Jesus tells him no. Jesus always takes the initiative. The choice is his first. He offers, and we respond. And Jesus has called each of us to follow him, to join him, to be with him, to be his disciple. Of course, we also know that everyone Jesus calls, Jesus also sends. Jesus sends on mission. Jesus sends to tell everyone the good news of who he is and what he has done for us by his life, death, and resurrection. Now, this is a, a very intimidating prospect for, for many Catholics, talking about how Jesus has changed their life. <clears throat> but Jesus today gives us very clear, simple instructions on how to do this. Because sometimes we think, that's the professional's job. Leave that to father and to sister and the experts. <laughs> I'll say something when I know enough. Of course, we'll never know enough. I'll never know enough. But if we have encountered, experienced the love of Jesus, we have enough to start speaking. And Jesus tells us what to say. Jesus says, go home to your family and tell them all that the Lord in his mercy has done for you. That's it. Go home. Go to your family and tell them what Jesus has done for you. Little ways, big ways. How has Jesus changed my life, made my life different, better, more meaningful, more purposeful? Now, sometimes home is the hardest place in the world to evangelize. ACC is not so easy either. <laughs> but the instructions are right here today. Go home, go to your office, and tell those there what Jesus has done for you in his mercy.